Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to transfer your iTunes library to an external hard drive using CopyTrans TuneSwift. With CopyTrans TuneSwift, you can move your iTunes library from its current location to another hard disk partition on your PC or even to an external drive. This is useful if your iTunes library is taking too much space on your computer or simply if you want to have your library relocated. First, open CopyTrans TuneSwift. If you don't already have it downloaded, download it using the link in the description. Now that we have the program open, click on the button that says transfer. Next, click on which operating system you're running. In this video, I'll be running Windows 8. Now click on where you want to transfer it to. You can create an iTunes backup file that you can restore on a new computer, transfer to a new folder or drive on this current computer, or transfer to an external drive. For the two options on the right, you will be transferring your iTunes library to an internal or external drive. This is essentially cutting and pasting the original contents of the iTunes library from their original location and transferring them to the desired new destination. For this video, we will be transferring our iTunes library to an external hard drive. Click on the Browse button and locate where your external drive is located. Once you have found your external hard drive that you want to transfer your iTunes library to, click Start Transfer. Now that the transfer is complete, you can see that my iTunes system files have been moved to the destination. This includes the iTunes library ITL file and the iTunes media folder. Transferring your iTunes library using CopyTrans TuneSwift is fully automatic, and it keeps the transferred library looking identical as it originally appeared. You've now successfully transferred your iTunes library to an external hard drive using CopyTrans TuneSwift. 